Assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to new group physics lecture I'm Dr. Prabhupada Ahmad uh, in this lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, the collective uh, model so let's start our discussions with the uh, uh, collective models uh, so uh, uh, you know that uh, for a heavy uh, for heavy nuclei uh, the shell model uh, for for having nuclei, shell model predictions do not agree uh, with the experimental measurement. So, uh, that is uh, especially in the magnetic uh, dipole moment. Uh, we found that uh, during uh, the discussion of the shell model, we found that the major value of the quadrupole moments for the closed shells differ significantly with the experiments. Uh, that is, uh, some nuclei uh, larger quadrupole moments suggest a significant non spherical shape. In addition, uh, we have the assumptions of the rotation symmetry in the shell model uh, that does not seem quite right. So, these deficiencies are uh, somewhat covered through uh, the reconciliations of liquid drop model uh, with the uh, shell models. I mean, uh, the two models, uh, they are being reconciliated, uh, that is uh, the liquid drop models and uh, the shell models. Uh, so, uh, what actually we got, I mean, uh, by their reconciliation, we mean that Bohr Molson's and uh, Rainwater Collective models uh, in 1953. So, the main assumptions of the collective models is that uh, nucleus consists of hard core of nucleins and a fell shell. So outer valence uh, nucleus behave like the surface molecules and, and a liquid drop. non sparsity of the, the central core uh, caused by the surface motions of the valence nucleus. So thus in the collective models, uh, the potentials uh, is a shell, a uh, potential is a shell model uh, with a sparis uh, with a sparically uh, asymmetric potentials. Uh, which mean that uh, a spherical nuclei can produce additional energy levels upon uh, rotations, while spherical ones cannot. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, the potential of the additional energy has been produced only uh, uh, by the spherical uh, nuclei uh, when uh, it has the rotations. I mean, uh, just only mean by spherical nuclei, uh, it cannot have uh, the additional energy. I mean, the additional energy is only produced. Uh, upon the rotations. Importance predictions of the collective model, I mean, uh, the main uh, benefit or uh, what we can say the main finding of the uh, collective models are uh, that is, uh, this model talk about the existence of the rotational and vibration energy level and the nuclei. And in addition, so it accommodate uh, decrease of spacing between the first excited excited state in the ground level for even even nuclei uh, as atomic mass increases uh, since moment of inertia increases with the atomic mass so uh, along with that spacing is largest for the closed shell nuclei uh, since they tend to be uh, spherical uh, uh, it's also talking about the super deform uh, nuclei that is uh, nuclei tend to uh, uh, tend to have relatively small and transit span. Uh, along with that, uh, particularly stable nuclei are uh, predicted for atomic mass between 150 and 190 uh, with the uh, spheroidal character, uh, which means that semi major axis about a factor of 2 uh, larger than semi minor. Uh, heavy ion collisions uh, in, the, in late 1980s produce super deformed nuclei with the angular momentum of, of the energy level uh, spacing of these uh, observed uh, through proton radiations uh, seem to be uh, fixed. Different uh, nuclei seem to have identical uh, emissions as they spin down. So problem with the collective model and understanding of, uh, understanding of uh, strong fairing of the nuclear binding energy. So understanding nuclear structure uh, are still in progress. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, what actually, actually the collective model done is the collective models, uh, I mean, uh, uh, effort have been met to overcome the deficiency uh, described and the shell models and the liquid drop models. 
so uh, the advantage is of the shell and uh, liquid drop models that they, they are being unified uh, collectively uh, and this particular model uh, I mean the problems uh, uh, that rises from the shell model or from the uh, liquid drop models uh, there they are being so trying to solve with the help of this model uh, but in the end we come to the conclusions that uh, I mean so the reliable discussions are we say that the full understanding of the nuclear structure it is still and frogging because with the passage of time we are getting more and more uh, particles we are getting the discoveries about more and more particles so this is why we are saying that uh, the discussions is still and frog this maybe in the future we have some more model uh, that will, will give us more information about the nuclear structure so that's all we have for the collective models uh, see you uh, uh, with more discussions with more knowledge and uh, in coming lectures uh, tell then bye bye